Look up into the night sky and most times the second or on a moonless night like tonight, the brightest light is not a star, but the planet Venus. Venus is only about 100 days away as the spacecraft flies, but it's a planet shrouded in mystery. Scientists believe it holds important answers to some of humanity's biggest questions. Now, as NASA prepares to send our latest mission to Mars, many are looking beyond that to what's next, possibly Venus, and a chance to go back to the future. The Mariner spacecraft, now on its way to Venus, is the most intricate instrument in the history of space science. Just three months after President Kennedy made that speech in September 1962, NASA completed the first successful flyby of Venus, a crucial moment in the Cold War space race with the Soviet Union. Ten years later, Moscow responded when a probe reached the surface of Venus, the first time any country successfully landed on a different planet. Venus was hot in more ways than one. After a 15-month-long cruise, the Magellan spacecraft will go into orbit around Venus on August 10th. In 1990, America's Magellan spacecraft beamed back the best pictures yet, showing a hellish landscape where the average surface temperature is just under 900 degrees. But for the last three decades, almost nothing. Venus is like a lost world. You know, it has mists. It's shrouded in clouds and mystery. But... Um, there's a whole suite of instruments that we would like to send there to unveil what's beneath those clouds and really um, discover those secrets. Here at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California, Seuss Mercar is the number one advocate for a new mission to Venus. When you look at this, do you dream of seeing someone there? I dream of seeing spacecraft there. <laughs> For the last generation, with Venus on the back burner, the main focus here has been on Mars, with another attention-grabbing mission this summer. Mike Watkins is the lab's director. We met him in the center of the universe, so-called because inside this room, NASA communicates with more spacecraft at greater distances than any other location in the world. We talk to them all, we command them, and we get their data down through this room. The lab Watkins now runs was formed in the 1930s, focusing on rocket and jet technology. These days, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory no longer does any jet propulsion. That shift happened after JPL successfully launched the first U.S. satellite in 1958, a response to Sputnik. Explorer is in orbit, broadcasting to the world its coded scientific data. And I think when that happened, we realized, hey, building that satellite on top of the rocket is the cool part. And so we kind of gave up on rockets uh, at that time and, and, and really concentrated on building spacecraft. The spacecraft Watkins and his team will soon be tracking is a still unnamed rover, the main focus of the Mars 2020 project. We watched the final days of its assembly before it's packed up in giant crates and flown to Florida for July's launch. They're just about to lift this thing up. Ken Farley is the mission project scientist at Mars 2020. His job is about as daunting as it gets. Somehow get samples that could show signs of life from Mars back to Earth. There are no samples that have ever come back from Mars. There are samples that have come back from comets, but this is a whole different business. And if you're able to get that, that's, that's big. That's huge, yeah. However, the huge challenges presented by Mars could pale in comparison to the issues presented by another trip to Venus. It's been referred to as the, as the hell of the solar system. Yes. It can melt lead. Yes. And there's tons of sulfuric acid rainstorms. Yes. Why go? <laughs> um, Venus has so many lessons for understanding, uh, you know, rocky planets in general and particularly understanding Earth. Scientists at NASA say Venus was probably the first planet in our solar system to have the conditions to allow life to form. But its atmosphere is now at 97 percent carbon dioxide, a heat-trapping gas that's superheating the planet. Finding out why that happened could help us understand what's taking place here on Earth. We can learn about the very early processes that shape the surface of the Earth if we study what's going on today on Venus. And we have this greenhouse that is incredibly intense on Venus. So it has tons of lessons for us to uh, take in as we try to prevent uh, our greenhouse from getting worse. If you look at Venus, the Earth, and Mars, you see three almost 
identical planets, kind of in similar locations. Uh, they probably started off similarly, and they went completely different directions. Mars turned into a, a, a desert with very thin atmosphere. Venus turned into an oven with a very thick atmosphere, and we turned out Goldilocks, just, just perfect. <laughs> and I think scientists would like to understand exactly how did that happen and what, what drove that. Three planets, three very different directions, but all with important lessons as the team working in the center of the universe tries to answer the central scientific question. Is there life out there? I have to believe there is. It's pretty crazy to think about. It is. It's also crazy to think it's, it's more in our reach now than it's ever been before. There are three big missions right now being considered to Venus, and we should know more about which one may or may not happen in the coming months. I love the lessons Venus could bring us. I mean, the greenhouse gas effect. Absolutely. I, I, I don't even know what to say. 97% carbon dioxide right now on Venus. Right. And how similar all of these three places. That's one thing that you learn that's so fascinating, the how similar they yeah. were to begin with, Earth, Mars, and Venus, and how dramatically different they turned out. And that's even to the point of it's, it's crazy to think that there may be other life out there. It might be even crazier to think that there isn't, that we're the only ones. Exactly. Or that there was life there and then no more. I love talking space. <laughs>